Okay, quick update on the Kia head bolt thread insert saga. And it's going to start with a moral. And that moral is don't be in a hurry. Uh, I had reasons for <laughs> the way I had to order the things. Uh, you know, reasons kind of translates into excuses. Uh, but bottom line, I have a very miserable, ever-changing schedule working outside, as you see. Uh, I'm at uh, the mercy of the weather and the schedule. And anyhow, uh, also could not find my precision measuring equipment because I had packed it into another tool bag that I was taking on some uh, remote repairs and such. So I relied on some information I found on the uh, internet about hole sizes and such. And I either read it wrong or it's wrong. Doesn't matter. Bottom line is um, I was in a hurry. I wanted to get this stuff ordered so that when the weather and uh, my schedule uh, we're all <laughs> matching up that I would have the parts. Well, um, I got the parts and, and the tools, uh, but, you know, hindsight being 2020, should have just waited and measured. So we grab the camera and take a look at uh, what we've got. So this was a effort to be slick and save a lot of money <laughs> in the long run. Um, this will work once, or I'm fairly certain it'll work once I get the correct OD um, insert to match this hole for the biggest for the biggest bite. Uh, but the whole point was the fact that the you know, approved repair is to repair those threads way down there. And that time cert kit is like 500 bucks. And this kit with the inserts and stuff, I don't have the receipt in front of me, but it was, um, it was under 200. Um, so it seemed, you know, like a worthwhile shot and it still is. I just didn't have the time to wait uh, to be able to measure this and, uh, you know, was trying to be proactive, went with the info I saw and uh, whether I, whether that info was incorrect about the diameter of this hole or uh, I just read it wrong, uh, you know, again, doesn't matter. I couldn't find my tools uh it was getting late dark cold and had to go to work early in the next morning and so just went with what i could find and uh well you know it uh it bit me i'll uh suffer through this so um you don't have to okay i did as you can see uh just for giggles and grins i went ahead and did put in one insert, uh, despite the fact I just don't think the uh, it's got enough bite because it turns out the key, the existing Kia uh, un, unthreaded counter bore is much bigger than I thought that it was. Um, uh, but anyhow, let me grab some of those measurements and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so it turns out that the existing Kia head bolt unthreaded portion of the hole, the whole two and a quarter top inches of it, turns out to be um, 469 thousandths. And if you know how to read these, you go to, you get the biggest measurement at the uh, past where the zero lines up and then find where the lines match up and add them up and uh you know long story short that turns out to be 400 
and 69 thousandths. Okay, the drill bit that comes with the kit, and I'll show the kit in a minute, and it's a really nice, a really nice kit. But anyhow, the hole that you would end up with the uh, kit with the drill bits, 2964 is 453 thousandths. Uh, so you can see there is a good bit of difference uh, between the um, existing hole and the hole you would drill with the uh, with the tap. And when you compare the kit, I'm going to call it the kit hole from the kit drill bit um, to the kit tap. All right, that tap, which is 533 thousandths, um, digs into that hole, digs into the side, the threads, you know, it digs in, it's 80 thousandths. But with the uh, kit hole, or the Kia hole, rather, uh, it's only 64 thousandths. There's a 16 thousandths uh, difference. And I just don't think I'm going to have enough insert thread grabbing enough aluminum block uh, tapped thread. Uh, so I'm going to meet with my mechanical engineer buddy and we'll go over this. And I've only, like I said, put in one. But I'm stopping there and um, might need to back up and uh, go forwards and find a better match and solution uh, that I can use along with the uh, ARP or maybe not the ones I got, but another set of uh, ARP fasteners. So uh, I'll show you that in a second. So it is a really nice kit it's from uh, mechanics tools and bits up in uh, bath pennsylvania and uh from what i can tell what he basically does is take time cert uh insert uh tools and inserts and bits and stuff and kind of assembles them spe uh, specific to what your need is so um anyhow um he uh, did did what I asked for, um, but I should have held off and done some more research. So there's the bit that comes with the kit. This is the counter bore to counter bore uh, the insert. Here's the insert. This is a one inch insert, and so it's counter bored. I'll show the whole full inch. There we go. So it's it's counter bored so that lip will be below the deck surface. Um, so there's the counter bore and it just stops when it hits the, you know, hits the surface. Uh, the reason there's tape on there is because, you know, uh, my hole was bigger than their hole. So I put some tape on it and uh, to, to get it to snug fit and center up. And honestly, it worked pretty good. And then this is the insert driver. You put the insert on that and then thread it down. And once you've tapped the holes, uh, first you counter bore, then, then tap the holes. So now that I've got all my measurements, I will make some calls and see what I can find. I might have to step up uh, the size of the head bolts. You know, everything might have to go up because I'm going to have to go up in the size of the insert. Um, you know, but we'll just have to see what there is that works in that existing size hole uh, that I can put an insert in and what the diameter of what the inside diameter of the insert will determine what what bolt I can use. So um, I will do my due diligence, take my time. Now it doesn't matter. I can take all the time in, in the world, um, you know, and it doesn't seem wise to go forward with, you know, with, with this. This would just be, 
you know, throwing good time <laughs> after, after bad. So I'll keep you posted.